output targeting versus inflation targeting. Policy makers, they have to decide whether they want to target output or they want to target each option sounds appealing, but it carries certain kind of risk in case if it is miscalculated. Output target. Here, government focuses on maximizing GDP and minimizing unemployment. So the risk is if they overestimate the potential output or underestimate the natural rate of unemployment, they may push the economy too hard. This causes demand to exceed productive capacity, leading to rising and accelerating inflation, which is also called runaway inflation. Why is this happening? In the short run, output rises. Unemployment falls. It looks very good. But in the long run, people realize that inflation is rising. So they start expecting inflation every year. Workers start demanding higher wages. Businesses start rising prices. This causes Phillips curve to shift upward. Now, even without extra growth, there is inflation. So this is a mistake. They realize too late. They means policymakers realize too late that they overshoot. Inflation targeting. Government focuses on keeping inflation low and stable, even if output is fluctuating. Even during recession, the risk is that when government is targeting inflation, then even during recessions, government may become too cautious to increase the output because they think that by increasing the output, inflation is going to rise. And they have targeted inflation. They do not want inflation to rise. This can lead to prolonged unemployment. This can lead to loss of output because inflation targeting often delays government intervention or often avoids government intervention. This is the another mistake which they also realize late when the damage due to recession has already been done.